Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Uh, welcome back to my channel. We're going to look at one of the application of software defined video. And, and in this application, we're actually trying to develop a chatting server, which is going to be based on my HackRF, which you can see is connected here. And this is going to be a half duplex system because HackRF is normally a half duplex device. So normally the way this system should work is that you have on one end, you have one HackRF is connected on the other hand you should have another hack RF connected and both of them are communicating to each other but I'm going to show you I'm going to demonstrate you that how I can transfer signals from my hack RF and develop the half duplex chatting system where one guy one one device can transmit while you can see the other devices receiving that signal indeed it will receive that signal so for that uh, on github there is a beautiful uh, repository which is known as hack RF mini modem all you need to do just simply clone this repository which I already did the, the way you're going to clone it just simply copy this uh, this file I'm going to leave a link to it right click on it go to your terminal uh, and just simply click right click on it and paste clipboard and just hit enter since I already have this once you have cloned this software uh, this repository all you need to do go to CD just let me just go to LS and then after it, let's go to CD hack RF and inside of it you will find three different folders so basically what it does it uses GNU radio flow graph uh, to transmit and receive using an FM uh, FM modulation so once you once you open this file up you will see three files mini modem TAC IMG UI RX FM Pi and then TX FM Pi these are the two files that you will three files that you will see so simply go to your file go to the folder type in chmod plus a plus x plus, sorry plus x plus x and mini r rx and t and t x and make these file and hit enter what it will do it will make these file executable they will be blacked out like this, but once you run when, when you once you run this command, they all will turn into green. So which means your file is, is executable now. The other piece of software that you need, as per the dependencies, is going to be this. So pip3 install their pi GUI. Just simply go here, copy this, copy on your terminal, it will automatically install it. That's all you need. Now the other repository that you see normally see Xterm, Python 3, Hack, Hack RF Library, GNU Radio, SOAP, SDR, and Hack RF, all of this, it's already come pre-installed in Dragon OS. So right now I'm using Dragon OS. Uh, this is the version that I'm using. This is Dragon OS. Dragon OS, everything it has, GNU Radio, all the software defined radio related tools are pre-compiled especially when it comes to good radio and things like that so you don't need to worry about it so make sure uh, you're using dragon os after you have your dragon os installed right now i'm running dragon os using my uh, portable drive but you can run it you can install it i'm using it live so so you can do this so everything comes pre-installed all you need is repository which is hack rf mini modem and this this dear pi gui that's the only two things that you need once you have everything ready to go, make sure your hack RF is connected to your modem, uh, to your laptop, and just simply go to the folder, go to hack RF mini modem dot uh, tag IMGUI, just ls it, and just write simply a period forward slash mini modem since this file is executable now, and let's just hit OK. Now, there are a couple things that you need to see. I'm going to make it bigger for you. So it will send data whatever data that you will type so this is this is how this uh, 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 the GUI look like so you need a call sign so for example if I am transmitting it I'm just going to give it a so call sign transmitter 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 one and I'm going to call it receiver if you have multiple uh, devices like for example multiple hack RFs you can run the same thing on those devices and just simply see receiver one select you can select a baud rate I'm gonna select a baud rate of 100 and I'm gonna transmit at 433 megahertz 4333 433 1 2 3 4 5 6 
433 megahertz. You can type any random message you want. So I'm going to type in my name, Ahmed Mustaqeen, and that's it. That's all you need to do. So while this, this thing is running in the background, so this thing is running in the background, and, uh, and let me just close a little bit. It's going to take space, and I'm going to hit start receiver. I'm going to start my receiving first. So here, and I'm going to start transmitting it. Now I'm going to send this. Now once you start seeing this, you start seeing my my receiver that I'm sending it from a hack RF. It's going to receive. So transmitter one, even though you're seeing gibberish, it says transmitter one sending it to transmitter two, uh, so, sorry, transmitter one sending it to receiver one, and the message was my name. As you can see, there are like some gibberish characters, but the idea is exactly the same. So I'm trying another example, another example, let's just call it Rx, selecting a baud rate of 100, and 433, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I'm going to type in my message, which is going to be my name, and I'm going to start my receiver. And then I'm going to hit send. So let's see. So here you will start seeing my message. So from TX1 to RX1, what is my message? Let's see if I can get my message clear, clear, clearly written. So this is my name, and this is what I just transmitted. It's going to wait, and it's going to stop its transmission. Now, so indeed it is transmitting. Uh, now the other party should be receiving. I don't have my hack RF, other hack RF. I don't have another hack RF to, uh, to connect to my device. Now what I'm going to do, I have my, on my other PC. Why am I not using it on this PC? The reason for it, because, um, because my laptop only has two ports and one port is occupied. So that's the problem. So now the thing is this, what I'm going to do on my, another laptop right here, I have my RTL SDR dongle is connected. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to retransmit this using this, and I'm going to I'm going to show you indeed I am receiving this using my RTL SDR dongle. I won't see the exact uh, exactly the same message, but I will see the transmission. So let me just simply run this. As you can clearly see, there is no transmission happening. My RTL SDR dongle is connected. It's right here. Now the next step is going to be, I'm going to leave this as is, and I'm going to run my mini modem now. And you can see by, you can hear the sound as well. I'm going to replay the same message. I'm going to start my receiver, and I'm going to hit set and just run mini modem. And I'm going to my X1, TX, RX, and I'm going to choose my baud rate again. I don't know, there is a glitch with the software because I have to keep inputting it again and again. And I'm going to type in my message. Again, I'm going to type in my name. I'm typing it on my laptop. I'm going to start my receiver and I'm going to hit send. So as soon as you start seeing the transmission, you can see this blip. And let's wait for this transmission to stop. And on this screen, you can clearly see that this is transmitting it. And I should be getting my message. And that's it. The transmission is stopped, and you can clearly see there is no transmission happening right now. Let's try it one more time, just to be make sure. All right, because I think I'm having. Okay, now I'm having. Uh, so as you can clearly see, indeed, my hack RF is transmitting, and it is receiving. And you can clearly see there is a lot of data that is, uh, a lot of activity going on. Once the transmission is stopped. I mean, I'm seeing there, there's, there's like corruption on in my message, but the idea is exactly the same that I just wanted to show you the chatting that is happening. Okay, now one more thing that you can do, you can also send text file as well. So for example, if you have larger text file, so you can go here, select send, go to test. In, inside of that folder, there's a text file that is there. Just simply click OK and we'll start transmitting that giant file. And then you can clearly see there is a transmission happening. And this file that you are observing on my transmitting laptop, it's actually in in in, in Latin. So you can see these Latin uh, like this. 
So this is what I'm transmitting right now from my hack RF and to just this this part of the setup is just to show you indeed it is transmitting. If I have another hack RF which is connected, it should be receiving this, then I'll be uh, we'll be exchanging messages back and forth. So this is a very beautiful application of this. Uh, if you have any questions regarding mini modem, uh, let me know and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel.